science number five, I think. Today I want to talk about sound. Just got to turn off my boiler. That was actually fairly good timing. No, but I want to talk about sound today. Specifically, I want to talk about why it is that sound changes if you speed it up or slow it down. In my last video, I was playing around with some editing and I slowed down a clip. Dennis, let's go ahead and roll that clip. No! No! If you slow down a recorded sound, it gets lower, it changes in pitch. No, it's only when you have a recorded sound that does this. If I slow down what I say, I don't change the pitch of it. For instance, if I say fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate. If I just say it slower, it doesn't change the pitch. But if I have a recording of it and I slow down the recording, that does. Likewise, if I speed something up, it gets higher. Again, last week I was playing around with that. Let's roll that clip, Dennis. And it's not just that it gets higher if you say something faster, it's only if a recording is faster. So why is it? Well, you need to know that sound travels as a wave. If I start on a really low sound, can you see these waves are quite far apart? They're not exactly what sound waves look like, but this is a good representation of it. If I made the sound higher, the waves are closer together. The thing that determines pitch, how high or low a note is, or a sound is, is how close these waves are to each other. Low sound. However, if they are closer together, higher sound. So when you have an audio recording of something, sound waves are fixed. The exact pitch has been recorded as a sound wave. If I make a sound clip faster by squashing it together, well, I'm squashing the sound waves together. They're closer together. It's a higher pitched sound. If I drag out an audio recording, if I slow it down so it's longer than it was, I'm dragging those sound waves apart. They are not as close together, they're further apart and that creates a lower sound. So to demonstrate this and to see how a sound can change as you speed it up or slow it down, I've made some sound effects. This is an art called Foley. Foley artists are people who create sound effects for movies, TV shows, for games. Because if you go out and film something, it may not give you the exact sound you want. If you hear a gunshot in a movie, it's not a gun being shot on location. It's not a gun being shot in a studio. Someone has recreated that sound in a different way from, generally, household objects. In fact, any sound effect you hear in a movie or a game has probably been made in a studio by something completely different to what it actually is. To demonstrate that, I've gone around my house. I've found different objects that make different sounds. Some of them I sped up, some of them I slowed down, and I recorded them. And I made it into a story. And I'm going to tell you that story. And your challenge while I tell this story is to work out what the sound effects are. There are uh, 11? 10? 11? It's all household objects from my house or from my garden. So, story time! So, our story begins... Mm, uh, it's not quite the right place for a story. Lovely! So today's story is entitled... Violet. There's a character in that book. Violet. The Ninja Detective. Chapter 1. Violet was a ninja, and also a detective. She had been called out to a case in an old abandoned church at midnight. She walked across the snowy ground. She opened the old oak door of the church and went in. Or at least she tried to. But a flock of bats burst from the church and flew all around her. Until they flew off into the night. She went into the church. Her heart was beating. Faster and faster.
As she walked through the church, she heard the rumble of thunder in the distance. Which was very ominous and scary. There was a sound from the back of the church. One of the old stone crypts was opening and a gnarled hand reached through. It was a demon. A ninja demon. It was a ninja demon. But luckily Susan was... No, uh, what did I go for? Violet. Violet was prepared. Luckily, Violet was prepared for the ninja demon, and she attacked him, and they had an epic kung fu battle with punches and kicks flying through the air. She successfully grabbed the arm of the demon and twisted and heard the sound of bones breaking. But the demon was a ninja, remember, and had ninja throwing stars in its belt. The demon belt that it wears. And it threw one at her. Ah! It pulled out four more and threw those at Violet as well. Ah! Violet knew she had no way of winning this fight. She had one weapon left, a grenade. She threw the grenade at the demon. She ran through the door across the snowy ground as behind her there was a totally awesome explosion as the whole church went up in flames. Knowing that the demon could not terrorise the town anymore, Violet stood and watched as the fire spread across the entire building and the flames grew into the night. And she walked away, knowing that's what heroes do. I hope you enjoyed my story. Next week I'm going to tell you what the sound effects were, but I want you to try and work out for yourself what they could have been. Some of them were sped up, some of them were slowed down, some of them I didn't change at all. If you're really interested in Foley and the art of sound effects, by all means try and find out if you can make your own sound effects at home. Just see what sounds things make and think about what they could represent. It's really fun to do. By all means let me know if you found some really cool sound effects. Until next week, stay safe, be awesome, thank you very much for watching. So today's story is entitled Sam Samantha the Ninja Detective. Clive, the Ninja Detective. Frank, the Ninja Detective. Geraint, the Ninja Detective. Chris, Susan, Erica, Anne, Genevieve, Philippa, Artemis, Roger, no. Bill, the Ninja Detective. No.